Now they always say, keep your friends close, but keep your enemies closer. So where the hell do you keep your frenemies? Frenemies might be one of the more dynamic relationships nowadays. You got famous ones like Jim and Dwight from The Office. Very funny frenemy couple. You have SpongeBob and Squidward from Under the Sea. But maybe the most noticeable, and to me, in my opinion, the most famous frenemy couple of all time has got to be none other than Tom and Jerry. So today, we're gonna go ahead and make a drink to salute those two. Now, for me personally, I grew up watching a ton of Tom and Jerry. It was just kind of always on uh, when I was watching my cartoons on Saturday morning. It's just a very fun, very happy-go-lucky cartoon that I just always enjoyed. Um, it's been around forever too, and I believe they're still making episodes this day, which is super exciting. Uh, and also, about six, seven years ago, I read this article about how Tom and Jerry was rated the number one cartoon of all time, which doesn't surprise me. I am not shocked by that at all. And also, even more exciting, uh, they just came out with a movie here not too long ago, which I it always amazed me when they can make kind of live action movies with these old classic cartoons. So really excited for that. So to honor the movie just coming out, I figured we would go ahead and make a Tom and Jerry cocktail. So I imagine when Tom and Jerry aren't like busy beating the crap out of each other that they like to throw back a few and get messed up. So we're going to go ahead and start this off with three fourths of an ounce of dark rum. Next, this drink calls for three-fourths of an ounce of some sweet, sweet brandy. Now we're gonna go ahead and get this cocktail two bar spoons of simple syrup. And if you go a little over, that's fine. So you guys will have to tell me who your favorite is. I feel like most people like Jerry over Tom, but I just feel like if there was a mouse in my house, I would also try to kick his ass. So I don't know, who's at fault here? What you're gonna do now is you're gonna go ahead and give this about two bar spoons of cocoa powder. So it's gonna be a little bit of a chocolate or a drink. And lastly, what I haven't told you yet is that this cocktail is a flip. What is a flip? It is a full egg into the drink. So it's gonna give it a nice creamy kind of, I almost uh, just did the egg white, but it's the full egg into the drink, but it's gonna give it a nice creamy texture on this. Now what we gotta do first, is we wanna emulsify and get all those ingredients together. So we're gonna go ahead and give this a dry shake. So go ahead, put your tin on, give it a flip, and shake it real good and hard for about 20 to 25 seconds. Whew, now that our dry shake is done. Ice. Into our shaker. And then go ahead and give it another good hard shake. All right, so basically what I got here is almost like a chocolate shake, it seems like. We're just gonna get messed up on it. So go ahead and double strain this into your mug here because we're not finished once we pour this in. Oh, just such a creamy texture. Give it a nice little bit of foam. That looks beautiful. Almost done. So last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take about four to six ounces of warm milk here. I might have warmed this up a little too much, so you don't have to go crazy here, but we're just gonna kinda, I'm gonna try and do it on the side here so that we still get that foam at the top, and we're just gonna pour it in until our glass rises. Beautiful. And we have a nice little, just a little bit of foam here at the top. Last, I'm gonna go ahead and take some nutmeg, whether you have your own or you just have some ground nutmeg. We're gonna go ahead and just over the top. And there we have our Tom and Jerry cocktail. Let's go ahead and give this thing a sip. Oh, I always love nutmeg on top. It always just gives it a really great aroma. But it kind of just tastes like a boozy cocoa a little bit. Um, all those, the, the cocoa powder, um, and the best part about this, you can probably adjust that a little bit if you want a little less chocolate or a little more chocolate. Um, that egg though, that flip gives it just a very rich creamy texture. It's almost like drinking liquid cake. 
It's amazing, I love it. I have no doubt that this is what Tom and Jerry would be drinking if they finally just stopped kicking the shit out of each other and they just said, hey, cheers to you. If you guys got the time, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Like this video and comment away as much as you want. I hope that you guys get a chance to enjoy this cocktail and I hope you guys get a chance to enjoy the Tom and Jerry movie. Until then, I'll see you guys next time. Cheers. Oh,